Now he's supposed to feed the gorillas his bad for the appetite. Oh, shut up, man. Take this, you big, black, ugly gorilla. Hey, man, what's wrong with you? Man, don't be talking to no gorilla like that. Oh, shut up. Hey, Mr. Gorilla, you gotta forgive these humans. They don't know how to act in front of no gorilla. Niggas crazy, man. Man, man, I'm crazy. Who do you crazy? See, you be nice to him, and he'll be nice to you. Hey, hey look out, man. What actually happened is we had to, okay, so we shot the scene and uh, the guy opens it and then a prop man standing inside of the door and he throws the, the stuff on me. So he had made that stuff out of uh, chocolate and peanut butter. So the next day we were shooting the L scene, the L scene, and then the L scene is when um, you still have to have this, you have to hit me with the stuff, then let it fall off, so it looks like I just got hit. But the prop man took the um, took the, the, the concoction home, and his wife thought it was garbage, and she threw it out. So he spent the whole morning trying to make another concoction, but it could never match the same tone, but the, the, the lighting, I think, took care of all that, because it nobody noticed. It wasn't that big of a, as big of a thing, but it was, it, it would run around like, we don't have this stuff, you gotta make more stuff, you know? But, it was, but yeah, it was chocolate and peanut butter, and then the prop man threw it on me. <laughs> hey, y'all, school's already out. I gotta get to the show before the locker for the night. Hey, come on, Chief. Hey, come on, man, let's split, man. Well, hey, come on, let's go. Come on, pull it. Hey, oh, man, let's go. The thing about, the whole thing about Cooley High, and, Poo and how Puda relates to everyone, even to this day, is that I was out of the loop because I was 14 years old. Everybody else, I was in curfew getting some naps while they were partying. So you, there's a big age difference between me and everyone in the movie because they're so much older. So there was me as a child, but not me as a peer. Whereas I'm maybe more of a peer now, the relationships didn't embellish over the years because there was I wasn't partying with them. I wasn't doing anything with them. They liked me because I was a kid and I liked them because they showed me a lot of things. And we're they're, they're real cool, but I wasn't hanging out with them. So that's, you know, that's just what it, what it is. Like they would go doing their thing and I was in the bed. Food is here and ready to jam. The reason I think the movie really fell, I mean, got, did as good as it did, is because the, everybody really dug each other in real life. I mean, we just had a fun, every day was a party. I loved going to that set. Um, I enjoyed it immensely. Um, for a kid, and I had no ego. Puda was just free. I was just silly, free. I was just having a ball every day. They wouldn't let me watch the dailies. They would let Larry watch the dailies. They, that was, those are the previous day's shoots. So they would watch, you know, they could look at what they had done. They would let Glenn watch the dailies, but they wouldn't let me watch the dailies. That really killed me. I wanted to watch, see what I had done. It's like, I never I never got a chance to see anything until the movie came out, but they had all this, this stuff. And they had uh, several scenes that are not in the movie. I know one where we went to uh, a theater and, uh, Everybody, this guy starts smoking a cigarette and he puts the cigarette out on the back of somebody's chair or something. The chair, chair starts smoking and Puda goes, fire! And then everybody says, what'd you say? I said, fire! And then everybody in the whole audience throws their Cokes on Puda and he gets soaked in Coke. That's not in the movie. This sounds, and that was a whole thing, just a Puda scene that was just thrown in. They redid that scene with the Godzilla and the, and the fight scene. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me, can I sit over here? Thank you. Damn, man, watch it out. I'm sorry, man. Something made me trip. Sorry, my ass. Yeah, yeah, watch out. 
I just said I'm sorry. What else can I say? I ought to kick your ass. Hey, if you think you're so big and bad, why don't you pick on somebody your own size? I'll kick your ass, too. You and what I'm. His army. He's like, bro! my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> at, the, at the end of that scene, when we jump through the screen, mm -hmm. we're under the, we land under the, uh, the stage and Cochise and Preach turn and look at Poodle like, and Poodle goes, that was cut. Driving scene, I almost got in the car. Really? Yeah, uh, they, there was a discussion about that because they were like, hey, Mike, Michael Schultz was like, hey, Poodle, do you want to get in the car? I was like, sure, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm with a dame, whatever. And then they had a conversation and uh, he wasn't included in that scene. It probably would have been too much, you know, because that really was uh, Stone's scene. He was excellent. He was, I laugh at him. He's, he's in the, uh, the race and he's like, ha, ha, ha. And that laugh was, what's happening? Um, uh, well, I think I even auditioned for that. Really? I think I did. I auditioned for, I believe it was, it was either that or they were gonna try to make Cooley High a series. It was, this is such a long time ago. But I remember, them doing something associated with Cooley High and then me uh, and and them looking at me for it, but they they didn't go with me. Well, I, I actually I did uh, a film called On the Right Track with Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman was so silly, but yeah, um, and I worked with Bill Russell, the great basketball player. He was uh, Gary's father, or and I played. His bodyguard, he needed a bodyguard in the movie, and I played, I played the role of Mark in that. I was a lot older. Having a, at the time, a celebrity status, everybody doesn't relate to that. All, I, I saw the thing where Joseph talked about somebody who said, I'll knock you out or fight him and stuff. And I had, a, I had, I had quite a few encounters. You know, everything is not always positive when you're in a film. And, um, I mean, I've, I've had people say that I'll knock him out and he ain't nothing. I've had girls be a, not not just want to talk to me with their boyfriends, and I've had boys get men get it jealous, and you know, and say different things. I went through a big thing uh, for a long time where um, people would ask me if I was if I was the guy that was in the movie, and it would, you know you couldn't take like 20 steps without being stopped. In, 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 in our community, anyway. And uh, it would, people would ask me, are you the guy in the movie? And I'd say, yes, how are you? And they'd be like, and then they'd say, no, you weren't. Who the hell is this? You would be in Hollywood. What you doing in Chicago, blah, 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 blah. And I'd hear so much of that, so then I, somebody else would come up and say, have you been in a movie? I'd say, no. Just, to, just, just, I don't have to have a long conversation. And they would be like, Man, why you gotta lie? Ain't nobody think you that damn big, that big anyway, blah, 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 blah. You think you something because you was in a movie. You ain't gotta be like, you incognito, like nobody know you, we know it's you, you tripping, blah, 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 blah. So you couldn't say yes, you couldn't say no. It, no, this is like when I was coming up with it. So I, I, I think I became more withdrawn from, from film. I wasn't like wanting to pursue that. Like people seek fame, there are people who are born for the limelight. That's what they bathe in. That's not something I bathe in, you know. Uh, I have a friend of my father's who taught, who used Cooley High in his uh, class on cinema in Germany. Uh, uh, has been probably dubbed in the other dialects. I know that when I, there are people in Africa who saw, I went to a potluck, an African potluck, and they recognized me from the film from, from being in Africa. So it, it's been everywhere, seen by many people, and it's an, it took, you know it took three months or whatever to shoot it, and it's lasted this long, and it's amazing. I, I say that I'll be a grand, 
my grandfather will be 90 and they'll still be saying, they're going to pull the ring. You know, and, and, and it's interesting, but it never made the major crossover. It never made that, it never appealed to, it never became a universal classic. It seems to me, to me, I don't know, but from my, from what I've witnessed, I can go, I I can go into a grocery store and the mama, the grandma, the mama, the grandbaby all know the movie. It's like a rite of passage to watch Cooley High. You know, if you if you black, your mama gonna say, girl, you you gonna sit here and you gonna watch Cooley High with me. You ain't you ain't seen Cooley High, shame on me. You gonna watch some Cooley High. And uh, I'm sure everybody has seen it. I mean, from uh, Danny Glover to Will Smith to, you know, it's a, in fact, they mentioned it on Blackish because he, he started, um, Larry Fishburne started naming all the black the class and he said, Cooley High. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. He got a little play on Blackish, you know, he got mentioned. You know? Well, you know, it's amazing the feelings that people still have in, attach, in, be, in attachment to that, to that film. Um, People say they still cry, you know, when they see it. Uh, it still has a, it's a, it was a great time for our community. Even, even the, whatever was bad is nothing like what it was to the areas today. I mean, it was a great, it was just a great days. All of, we, just, just everything. It was just a, a better, it was a better life. Yeah. Hey, you sweet thing, you. You feel like dancing. Uh, yeah. Ooh, baby, baby. I'm just a Poodle, would you get the hell off the brake front? My mother said not to lean on the brake front. Cause she 